When it comes to launching an online course, the way you market it will either make it or break it a successful launch. Stick around because in this video, I'm gonna teach you the exact email sequence that you need to sell your next online offer. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Jenna Marilla. This YouTube channel is for coaches, creators, and online service providers who are looking to grow their business using social media. That's right up your alley. Then do me a favor and hit that subscribe button or give me a thumbs up if you're excited to finally learn what is this email sequence that is going to help you launch your next online offer and get those sales that you want. Amen. <laughs> Let's talk about how you're going to be able to convert more clients into your online workshop using this technique with email sequences. Let's do it. Let's get crystal clear on what is it a course launch email sequence. Our sales based emails that talk about your online offer and how it's a good fit for your ideal client. Let me say that again. So a course launch email is an email sequence that talks about your course launch and how it's ideal for your ideal client. Now, the main goal of a course launch email is to build hype around the offer before you actually launch it. Basically converting email subscribers into potential clients. That is the number one goal for a launch sequence. It's important to remember that this is not a nurture sequence. A nurture sequence should be done before you decide to do this. And so to give you a little bit of an idea of a nurture sequence, that is where you're introducing yourself to your ideal client and you're giving them a little bit more of who you are, telling them where you came from, how you started your business, how they should go follow you on Instagram, yada, yada, yada. And then you have a course launch email sequence that starts right after that. Okay, so this is the most important part of an entire email sequence is building that hype. Without this, you're not gonna be able to sell what you want. So during this process, there should be anywhere between three to six emails just about the hype, right? And you wanna include in this part of the email sequences, the price, you wanna be able to do this at least six. No, I'd say you wanna be able to create these hype emails at least a week or two weeks before you actually sell something, right? And you want to prepare your audience to let them know that this is coming and this is the price. Remember, a lot of people need preparation to invest and get their finances in order. So you want to make sure you mention like what they're going to get, which then leads me to a couple of things that you can mention during the hype phase. You can talk about the common problem that your ideal client has and how you've solved it. You can also talk about testimonials. You can add testimonials and results that you've gotten your client from the problem that your ideal client has and how you've helped them solve it. You can offer an early bird price special, right? So for example, if you say something is $500 and the early bird should be about two or three days and during that time they'll get $200 off, that means the program would sell only for that time frame exclusively to them for three days at $300. And you wanna do this cycle on rinse and repeat over and over and over in different ways, right? And so something that I really like to do with my team is that when we're promoting something, we're talking about the pain points and how I've helped my clients solve their problems. And I'll pick specific clients in different industries. So for example, as a business coach, I work with all types of service providers, right? And one of the examples that I'll use is maybe a fitness coach. And then maybe my next email will be about a business coach. Or maybe my next email will be about an influencer. Maybe my next one will be about a therapist. So I really give people a range of variety to let them know that it's not just about a business business, right? It's a variety of different businesses and how I can help them because I never really know who's actually reading it on the other end. So you want to make sure that as you get closer and closer to the final date of the launch date, you're giving as much results as possible. Building that testimonial, showing your ideal clients are getting the results that you know that you can actually get them. And then obviously the ending part of this sequence is having that close cart sequence. You wanna make sure that you have a timeline letting your audience know that the cart is actually closing to this special offer, whether it's a bonus or an early bird special or just an, a closing cart for a product. All in all, these emails should be anywhere between I would say seven to nine emails in total. The last three should be very simple, like, hey, you have 24 hours. Hey, you have six hours. Hey, cart closes in one hour. Don't miss out. Here's a testimonial or here's a result that you can get just like my client, yada, yada. Got it? Now, this is a really cool tip that I tell my clients to do after this. You wanna set up an abandoned cart email sequence, okay? This is a very strategic strategy that I teach a lot of my clients to do. It's to set up the browser for the abandoned cart sequence, okay? So what you're gonna do is, depending on the software that you have, um, I think Sam Cart's actually the one that we use in my business, where we actually, the cookies, so for example, somebody can actually go 
and add your product to their cart. They can put in their information and then they don't actually press the buy button, right? The cookies from that email address will be picked up and there should be an abandoned cart sequence that they automatically get to let them know that their cart is still open and available. And if they want to purchase, they only have X amount of time and here's a special discount. So there's two things to this, right? You want to set that up through a browser and then you want to create that email sequence for that, right? And honestly, this email sequence shouldn't be no more than two emails. And it should be like, hey, Samantha, guess what? You left your cart full. Are, do you still want this product? Hey, Samantha, you left your cart full and the cart closes in one hour. You're going to miss out on these awesome discounts and offers, etc. Because the truth is that everyone's life is super busy and it's really important that you're catching them and letting them know, hey, I'm watching you. <laughs> I know that you want this. And it's kind of giving them a little nudge, which sometimes really does help. So my friends, that is my bulletproof secret to creating an email sequence for your online offer. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I drop these videos once and sometimes even twice a week, every single week. So you do not want to miss out on these amazing opportunities. And again, this does my channel so well and I greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. I know who watches and doesn't subscribe. So I see you. Anyways, have a great day, an amazing life, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.